Hey guys, welcome to Nya Cooking. It's Chinese New Year and I bet you will need a soup dish just to complete your meal. In every Chinese meal, you will have a soup and also many other dishes. So to, for this recipe today, I am going to show you how to prepare imitation shark fin soup. Now do not click off and go off this video because I do not condone eating shark fin. But as I mentioned, it will be an imitation shark fin soup recipe. And that means instead of using real uh, shark fins, I'm using imitation shark fins and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to recreate this dish and also keep the natural taste of this soup. Now when I was much younger, I used to enjoy eating this dish or having this soup because uh, it is just so delicious when it comes to the flavor of the broth. It's really very delicious and then when I got older, I found out that shark fins do not actually have a flavor. They do not add any sort of flavor to the dish, but it helps to enhance the other uh, ingredients that you have in the soup. So uh, why don't we try to have imitation shark fin and yet still have this delicious broth and enjoy it with your family. Now let's look at the ingredients that we'll need. Imitation shark fin can actually be bought in Southeast Asia quite easily in the frozen section. Um, it is made out of gelatin but today I'm going to use glass noodles and this is not the normal glass noodles, these are Korean glass noodles. I really love them because it's so much more uh, crunchier, it's also slightly thicker. And then I have crab meat, salt, white pepper, shiitake mushroom, these are wood ear mushrooms, Shaoxing wine or Chinese rice wine, soya sauce. The base of the soup will be chicken broth and how I prepared it was to boil this drumstick with water. I also have some dried scallops. Dried scallops really enhance the flavor of the broth. If you don't have it, you can substitute with oyster sauce. Now to thicken the broth, we are going to add a bit of corn flour and just for garnishing, I have some coriander. The chicken broth has already been prepared. I'm going to just let it boil. Now besides boiling the drumstick earlier, I also boiled this uh, dried scallops. So dried scallops can be bought in uh, Asian grocer. If you can't find them, you can get it in Asia most of the time. But for those of you out there who are not living in Asia, you can re uh, replace this with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. So I just wanted to show you how it looks like here. So after boiling it for about one hour, this is how it looks like together with the chicken drumstick. So I'm going to heat up this chicken broth once again and we're going to scoop the dried scallops out. Preparing this soup is so simple but we'll first need to cut the mushrooms. So I'm just going to cut off the stem of the mushroom. Then using the knife, lay it flat and cut them into slices. Let's move on to the wood ear mushrooms. You can buy them dried and then you need to hydrate them by soaking them into the water, just like the shiitake mushrooms. Now this part is hard, so we are going to remove it. Try to bring them together and slice them. So once this is done, then we can add it to the broth. As for the drumstick that we used earlier to prepare the broth, we're going to shred the meat. So very carefully, I'm just shredding it. And then we're going to add it to the soup. Now try to shred it as thin as possible because you want to have a very smooth soup or else you know, you'll be biting into chunks of uh, meat which might be a little bit uncomfortable. Once it has been shredded, add it to the soup as well. Same goes to the scallops. You will also need to shred it and then add it to the soup. Shredding it is very simple. You just need to apply a bit of pressure and then it will just break off. We proceed by adding the crab meat into the soup and also the glass noodles. Just as it's about to boil, we're going to add Shaoxing wine and also soya sauce. Let this boil for about 10 minutes and then we're going to add a pinch of salt. And also a pinch of pepper. 
Now, if you know shark fin soup, the color is slightly darker, so I would like to add a bit of a uh, dark soy sauce just to give it some color. We are going to thicken the soup by adding water to the cornstarch, mix it well, and then add it to the soup. Now, before adding, you need to make sure that the soup is really boiling vigorously. And just like every shark fin soup, we'll add an egg right at the end. So beat the egg. The soup is finally ready and if you can feel my excitement, <laughs> I'm actually jumping for joy. <laughs> It has been a long time since I had shark fin soup. If you know shark fin soup, you'll see that the strands here, these glass noodle strands, really represent shark fin very well. So... Mm-hmm. Absolutely love the taste. The broth is so flavorful and you can taste a little bit of chicken and also the um, dried scallops that really really makes a difference now as I mentioned if you don't have them you can replace it with oyster sauce now shark fin soup is usually served because of its prestige because it's so expensive then uh, people like to have it to show that you know they have pride when they serve the meal to the guests so I hope you try this recipe it tastes so much like shark fin soup so why get the real thing I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and if you want to know more about shark fin soup, head on to www.nyonyacooking.com where I have more texts in it and also take a photo of them if you have uh, tried this recipe or also other recipes and you can upload them on the website. I can't wait to hear from you on Facebook, Instagram or even Twitter. Until then, I wish you happy cooking!